first congratulate Dr. Clarence Monuba for choosing or running mate. It was something that I've been waiting for all this time. And I must say congratulations to Madam Grace Wang for accepting the Linux vice presidential candidates um, bid. I, I, I really, uh, I seems to be pleased. I listened to her speak, giving some information that I was very much interested in. So, um, Linu, Dr. Clarence Moniba, I want to say congratulations. Those of you in YouTube land, this is your program just for you. You know, Liberia is a small country. I understand it is 43,000 square miles. And we have, what, 5.2 million people. I'm not sure whether that's totally correct, but that's what it is said. We are located in West Africa, just off the Atlantic Ocean. It is a beautiful country. You will love it. I've spoken to some Caucasians recently who have declared their intentions to, re to go to Liberia to retire, actually. To retire in Liberia. Isn't that great? Um, there are people in our country from other countries who I join Liberia, right? They are having the greatest time of their life. They're eating the best kind of food. You know, Liberians can really cook. I must admit, really cook. You know, just um, recently we celebrated our grandson's sixth birthday and he had a friend that um, he invited. This friend brought his dad and i'm telling you when he it seems when he entered the front door of our home the smell of our food was so mesmerizing until the dude didn't know what to do um he was a caucasian guy he sat there and they know you know uh, so my daughters came to him and asked if he needed some burger and stuff to eat and he said, yeah, so they prepared some burgers for him and hot dogs he ate. But there was one thing that he had not gotten yet. It was the fried rice um, that was um, prepared by my wife. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that rice was so good. This Caucasian guy ate that rice like it was going out of style. It was really, really good. But um, just to add a little bit, you know, to... The serious time that it is in Liberia, because right now Liberia, um, it, you know, it's, it's truly at a tipping point. You know, we use the way at a crossroad, but if Liberians do not choose the right persons to lead this country, Liberia might fall off the cliff. And, and, I, and I'm saying this to say, right now, Liberia, we don't have a real good relationship with America. Even when Samuel Doe was president, Ronald Reagan invited him to America. Samuel Doe, who overthrew the government of, of Liberia, became the president. He was invited to the White House. And we all know if you are invited to the White House, there are so much you can gain from it. There are so many countries in the world who wants to be invited to the White House. And Samuel Doe was invited and he, Liberia received millions of dollars in aid. But for the past five and a half years, the incumbent have not been invited to the White House. Yeah, he have come to America and gone to the CIA office, <laughs> which is so funny to me. I don't know why he went to the CIA headquarters in Virginia. But he was invited to, to that part of um, the government branch, um, the CIA office. Um, that's, that's sometimes we don't seem to understand why. But he had not been invited to the White House. Yeah, he took picture with um, Joe Biden, but it doesn't mean anything. 
you know, they went to the African meeting and that's where he met him and they took a photo. That's fine. But he had not been officially invited to the White House of the United States of America. Our strongest and oldest ally. ally. You can imagine that? Because I understand that even his vice president, Joe Howard, you know, Taylor, who was a part and parcel of all of this murdering that went on in Liberia, have not been able to travel to America. So it shows that we do not, Liberia doesn't have a relationship with America in a way that we all should know and, and know that we help our country. People argue, you know, they argue, oh, you know, when Ellen Johnson Sirleaf was in power, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf got um, extender help. You know, people came in and, and helped pay bills and pay salaries of people and all of that. But George Weir is the government's money. I, I don't know when we use these kind of statements and and, and it is, it's, it's so dishonest. It's just dishonesty. Because just recently, just about a week or two ago, okay, France and other countries decided to give to, to loan in Liberia, what, 65 to 67 million dollars for until 1970 before they can pay it back. Isn't that loan from the stand-up word from outside of, of Liberia? And I bet this is not the first one. I showed there are others that George Weah government have received signed pay, pay documents because the legislature, they are only there to make money for themselves. They don't care about nobody else. They don't care about the citizens of Liberia. The roads are all messy. Everything looks so bad. Cars continue to get stuck in the mud. They, they show Ellen Johnson to leave government time, but then when their time comes, they don't know what to say. They begin to rumble and lie and say things that is so in, incorrect. So I just want you to look at this little um, clip concerning the road that is in Basel. This road is in Basel going to other parts of the county of Basel. And that was the expiring vice president for UP and as they say, Rescue 2, and also the one who gave herself the name Rescue Mother, um, the senator from Grand Basel County, and it was on this terrible, terrible road going. Because I know UP was not actually known for, for roads. And it's the same thing with CDC. He said, oh, there will be, I'll be known for roads. Yeah, there are a few roads here and there that they are trying to put out. But a lot of them that was already scheduled, that was already signed to, to declare by the House of Representatives, the legislature, to, to, to build. It is still where it was. Nothing has been done. Where is the money? I understand $52 million for some road that they were to build and we don't even know where the money is. So I want you to watch this and see for yourself. It is so sad, you know, we tend to criticize other people for what they did or what they didn't do. But when we are in power, it seems to be worse than what we claim or say that people didn't do. Look, Liberians, Liberia is a mess and we must admit it. OK, look at Pinesville. The garbage in Pinesville is, is so bad. You know, when I came from Liberia some time ago and I showed some videos about the city of Morovia, the garbages that were everywhere, people got upset with me and they began to insult me and say, oh, some people tell me, you better go and be friend with George Weah so you can get your job. 
You know, <laughs> I don't want job from the Liberian government. They have more capable people, I bet, that can do the job. The, my problem is the corruption. That is the issue we are faced with. Okay? Liberians, they allocate money for education, so to speak. But look at some of the school buildings that we have in Liberia today, 2023. I want you to take a look at this school building. It is so despicable, so sad to see our children, children of Liberia, going to a place where they, they, they put mud as the wall. There are no chairs, no tables, nothing, no door, no windows. But then they say school. How can you do this to our people? Money has been allocated for these reasons, but they never receive it. Who are the people that are receiving such amount of money? Who are these people? So I want you to take a look. Look for yourself and see what I'm talking about. The school building that our children in 2023 goes to. You see, it is so embarrassing. It is so sad, you know, that our country keeps struggling and struggling for almost 176 years. We just can improve. Is it because of our leaders or is it because of us Liberians? You know, I, I, actually, I would blame us Liberians for what we are going through. The suffering we are going through. I'll blame Liberians. Because we make the decisions. We select these people. We appoint. We, we vote these people into offices. The House of Representatives. I was just listening and I heard when George We are sent 65 to 67 million dollars um, loan to the House of It took 10 minutes and it was passed. 10 minutes. There was no argument. There was no finding out what happened, what didn't happen, nothing. They passed it. And Monrovia looked like the way it looked. Pinsville, what is the city mayor doing? I don't know. The garbage, garbage is just piling and piling for days and weeks and months. How can you have such garbage over a red light or EAW junction? That's sad. Liberians, we got to be smart. And we are smart people. Let's choose the right people this time. Look, people who were there before, like the UP government, they had this government, this country for 12 years. The CDC government, they've been there now for almost six years. Why you want to recycle the simple? Why you want the same people to continue using and, and, and ruling us? Because I will use the word ruling, not leading, because they make all the decisions, the suffering that Liberians are going through. It is because of those in authority, the leadership. Why? Why would you want to pay a or, 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 or senator $12,000 a month? When the children don't even have schools to go to. They don't have teachers. They don't even have school buildings. Why would you want to pay them that amount of money? Why would you want to pay the, the, the House of Representatives about $10,000 plus dollars a month? While other countries around us, I want to say, Sarah, they only pay the House of Representatives, the legislature, $1,000 US dollars a month. Ghana, $3,000 US dollars a month. Only Nigeria, because they got all and they are a wealthy country, they pay them 15000 But Liberia, as little as we are, and we are coming from war, a war torn country. Why would you want to pay legislatures $12,000, $10,000 a month? Pay ministers $7,500 a month. Why the common people, those that are down there, cannot enjoy the fruit of Liberia? That is wrong. We can't keep doing this. We can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. We just cannot. It is about time that we make decisions that we will, they will benefit us. Not decisions that will benefit other people. 
We need to make decisions that will benefit us, the citizens of Liberia. For far too long, we have struggled. And nothing seems to be happening in our favor. Nothing. It is time that we think twice. You know, why you want to elect someone who cannot even get visa to come to America? Knowing America is our oldest ally. Why would you want to do that? Joe Howard can't come to America. Jeremiah Kuhn was denied visa. Why? Why would you want these people to come and be our leaders? We see today Cummings. Alexander Cummings is here in America. He's here. Why couldn't they, or why didn't they deny him visa? But they deny Jeremiah Kuhn. It's because there is a problem somewhere. And Liberians, we need to read between the lines. You cannot have people leading us who just can't even leave their country to go to, to, to come to America. The oldest ally of America. I mean, of yeah, Liberia. You, you can't. Don't mind all these lies and these deceptions and lies and corruption that keep going on. They come and put hair in their pocket. I was watching the other day. They went to Basel. The road was so bad. They were passing through this town, going to another town. And the, 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 the so-called rescue mother came and said, oh, you know, you put for, for, for UP. Yay. Yeah, okay, the, 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 stand, the vice standard barrier will come. He came put his in the pocket and got a bundle of money and handed it to them. Are you buying your election? Is that what Liberia have reduced itself to? Paying money so people can vote for you? Don't make the same mistake you made when you elected the UP first. You made a second mistake when you elected the CDC. They said first food is what? It's not food, but the second food is a food. Liberians, we have become foolish people. We have become fools by electing a CDC government. And we see what we go through the day. They, they, they try to defend themselves by saying this. Oh, you know when Ellen was in power, when the UP was there, the people were giving so much money, as I mentioned earlier. George, we are using the, using the resources of Liberia. Yes, you, are, you receive three point something billion dollars over five and a half years. Ellen Jones used to leave government at 4.8 billion. But guess what? Most of these NGOs that come to our country, Liberia, what do they do? Whatever money that they brought with them, they take it right back. Just a very fraction of what they bring remains in Liberia. Very fraction, just a, a fraction of what they bring. Because they pay them so much money for coming, leaving their comfort zone, leaving their country to come to Liberia. And because of that, they pay them handsomely so that they will be able to come and do what they want, what they want them to do. And then after that, they take the money back to their country. And just a little bit leaving Liberia for maybe rentage or maybe for gas or whatever. Just a little thing that they spend around, leave there, but everything else goes. So when people try to use that argument, that Ellen Johnson selling her extended of support, people were paying salaries of people and whatnot. Yeah, it happened. But those people took most of that money back and just a fraction left in Liberia. Okay? People talking about harmonization. If I work somewhere for five years and I made $100 and this person came to work to the same place for one month, you expect he and I to make the same amount of money? The same $100? That's impossible. I who have been here longer should be making more than the one who just came. Because of my experience, because I've been here longer, they gave me certain percentage because of the length of time that I stayed working. So you can't expect the person who just came for one month and I've been here for five years to get a same amount to be paid. That's wrong. And you guys call it harmonization. And that because of that, guess what happened? You people claim, CDC claimed, that because they didn't want to fire people, they wanted to hire more people. But guess what happened? To the wage bill, to the wage amount. It went up to over $5 billion. From $3.5 billion, billion to over $5 billion. Because why? They added more people to the payroll. Those that care about them, those that they know, those that they love, those who are part and parcel of their their, their settle their, their, their square or their settlement. Those are the people they hired. And then 
the debt see there we can't we can't even afford it i think liberia is what two point something billion dollars in debt right now and we are still collecting money and the house of representatives is just passing it they're not even thinking they're not judge why are you people even voting these people into power the, the house of representatives what are they doing the, the house of senate what are they doing for liberians what are they doing they are not doing anything for you. They are only selfish, greedy, and only helping themselves. Why must you vote them into power? Before you vote somebody, you got to know these people. Know what they can do, who they are, how, how honest they are. Before you elect them into power, you cannot just see a man come with a big stomach and say, oh, I gave you $500 and then you vote for him. No, after that $500 is finished, what you get next? He will be getting money for the next six months, the six years. And what do you get? Nothing. Because the 500 dollars is gone. But he gets it every month. $12,000. And he gives you 500 for the entire 12 years you will be in power. Or 6 years you will be in power. Why don't you think before you make decisions, Liberians? Why? It is so pathetic. People are selling the market and nobody buying from them. A lady I watched yesterday, she said it took a flare. And from morning to night, she only made $400, Liberian dollars. And when she went and bought herself Kobo to eat something, she was left with less than $300, Liberian dollars. And she got four children at home. Boyfriend cannot run motorbike because people are hunting them down, killing them. What country are we living in? What country that we... It is so bad, my people. Look, my heart, like it's, it wants to jump out of my chest because of the pain and agony I feel for our Liberian people. The people are struggling. They are suffering. Let's make the right choice. I fully believe, without no doubt, that if Liberia elect Alexander B. Cummings, to the presidency of this country, Liberia. Liberia will take a new turn. Liberia will be a new country. Liberia will be a place that people expatriates, people will want to come and invest. Those who are out in the diaspora, they might want to go back home to invest what they have gotten on this side, in the West. But we need the change of leadership and the change of our mindset we cannot continue to be set in our ways in our old ways we cannot we have to change our attitude we have to think better for ourselves the time to say my you came my mind you came my power will vote for you those days are over those days are over and the idea because somebody comes from your county, so you have to vote them into power, you are only hurting yourself. Because we see today, Lofa County, what is the road that goes to Lofa? We see Buchanan, the roads are terrible. In Sino, you gotta go through every country before you can get to Maryland. What do you people really want, Liberians? What do you want? That we continue to elect and vote these kind of people into power that keep pressing us down, suppressing us, oppressing us, and making us to be second-class humans. A word to a wise is quite sufficient. I keep pleading. I am pleading with you. Vote the right people into power so that we can have some security in Liberia. Some security in our country. Liberia is unsafe. Liberia is unsafe. I just saw a young lady today that was caught with arm and ammunition. 27-year-old woman. What's going on, Liberians? Why can't we think? People are struggling. She said, I went to a hustle. She got two kids. Nowhere to turn. So she had to resort to stealing. What country do we have, Liberia, that we, we, we stoop so low and allow people to just push us around like some filthy rags?
It is about time that we start to make some serious, serious decisions. It is about time that we sit around the kitchen table and discuss our lives. Where are we? Are we better off than six years ago? Are we? The security situation in Liberia is just, is completely broken down. Liberia is a mess. We need people that will come into our country and help us out. We need a real leader, not a ruler. We need a leader. Someone who will lead our people and let them enjoy the fruit of their labor. Let them enjoy the wealth of their country. Let us not regret why we became citizens of Liberia or God created us as people of Liberia. Let us not regret. <clears throat> because I know Liberia is very wealthy. Millions of dollars, billions of dollars go through that country. But where is it? Why can't we see it? Look at the airport. The terminal at the airport. They say it costs 50 million dollars. Look at the terminal. That thing don't even look like something that you pay $50,000. And they say they pay $50 million to build it. Look at the, the tire, the, the, the runway. They pay $28 million. People, we are talking about M, millions of dollars. Why are people so wicked to one another? Why are Liberians so wicked to people? Wicked to one another. Treat people like dogs, like cats. They get it up there and they divide it among themselves and leave the common people to suffer. No job. People are selling and they can't even get people to buy because they're not getting paid. They're not paid well. And they just, life has become so unbearable for them. Liberians, let's think twice before we make our choice this time. Choose the right leader. Somebody that we that 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 have that is so compassionate and care about you and want to see you live a better life. Give them the chance. Not these same old old people that keep coming, recycling. Some of them jumping on the bandwagon because they didn't get enough from the previous government. Now they want to jump on this bandwagon so that they can go and get a retirement money from there by stealing from the Liberian people. Do not allow that, Liberian. Do not vote the senators. Those people they are corrupt. Do not vote the legislature. They are corrupt. They 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 they, they represent this house. Of they are corrupt. Do not vote the the leadership of this country. They are corrupt people. There are people who are who was in bed with murderers the same thing with up the same thing with cdc why you want to go that route be sensible liberians be smart for time waits for no man time waits for no man this is our time this is your time make that decision and be proud of your decision don't make the decision then tomorrow you start jumping from one place like some party hopper to go and start to criticize this and criticize. Make the decision. Think about it before you make that decision. And when you make that decision, relax, stick with it and say, you know what? I have made a decision and I believe it would be better. And I'm sure with CPP, Liberia is going to be a new, a new country. And life is going to be better for our people. So CPP all the way. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Those of you who have not subscribed, I want you to help me out. Subscribe because this is just for you. It is your station. It is your program. It is your channel. Any order for me to continue, I want some encouragement. I want some encouragement by subscribing, by sharing, by hitting the, notific the notification bell because I want you to know and hear what I say. It is important for Liberia at this crucial time in the life of our country. Thank you and may God bless you.